How's it going YouTube? MasterNax7 here and today I wanted to show you guys my Mangler Mask by Dove Studios. This is actually a vintage piece that was released in 1988. I had it recently scored this guy on eBay and I haven't seen too many of these guys around so it's pretty rare. You can't buy this one brand new anymore. Um, the owner of the studio is uh, Jeff Kime or Jeff Def as he goes by. He no longer makes these, so your best bet of getting this one would be have to find it through eBay or on the Facebook page at the Studios Collectors. They sell some pretty good stuff on there at times. But yeah, this mask is pretty huge. It has a really big bulbous head, which I found pretty cool. You know, I didn't really think about it until right now, but the mask kind of reminds me of Pumpkinhead. It's got that... Uh, elongated head but yeah I'm going to show you the details on the eyes the eyes are really wicked the nostrils the wicked teeth this, this mask is wearable it's got the breathing hole right there and uh, the vision slits are within the forehead. That's where you would normally see out of. It's got six. I remember there was a YouTuber, I think three years ago, that he posted uh, some of his old school Dove Studios masks. And I remember he had this mask. And I thought it was super cool. And then ever since I've seen that uh, YouTube video, I've always wanted a Mangler mask. And now I finally have it. And yeah, I don't want to part with this piece. I love this mask a lot. It's probably one of my more favorite, all-time favorite, old-school Death Studios masks. It's, uh, it's just so classic and cool. Now, one thing that I found pretty interesting about myself when it comes to collecting... I do not care about collecting old school Don Post Studios masks or any like any old school masks. I'm not a huge fan of most of uh, my latex masks are modern that they just came out in the 2000s or maybe some in the 90s, but most of my masks aren't too vintage. But when it comes to Dev Studios, I love their vintage pieces. They're just amazing. But uh, their new pieces are, are cool too, but I just really dig the old stuff too. So I like collecting the vintage stuff and the newer stuff when it comes to Death Studios. But yeah, really, really badass mask. If you guys see this on eBay, I highly recommend you pick it up. There's not too many of them out there. But yeah, it's a really cool mask and I'm happy with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.